Good evening, it's Noel from Handmade with Love and this evening I want to talk to you about the Fleur's flower forming USB. Specifically I want to show you how to use the, um, the paper craft section because it comes with two folders on the USB. There's a USB for card making flowers, oh sorry, making flowers with card or paper and there's also for making another file for making with the flower forming foam. For the this evening's demonstration I'm going to be uh, using a uh, card to do that. And just as an example, um, there's some daisies that I've made. There's some colubines. Uh, this is a dahlia. Uh, this is a chrysanthemum. And this is a rose which was used to do in the uh, flower forming foam. That's the first thing I ever made, so it's not brilliant. But for the purpose of tonight, I'm going to show you how to make the daisy. So what you'll need to do this, you'll need this tool, which is a quilling tool. And on one end, it's got um, a piece of metal sticking out, but it's got a sort of, I don't know whether you can see, there's like a gap in between. And the other end, there's a pokey tool. So I've already um, cut out on the scan and cut the uh, daisy um, pattern. There are the petals and these are the stamens. Now you can just use, if you want to, one set of the petals and that will give you the thinner looking daisy like that one. Or if you like a more fuller daisy, you can double them up, which is what I'm going to do this evening because I do think the fuller daisy is a lot better. So what you need to do is you need to put these flat down on your board. Now you've got to remember that the side that you want to see, uh, that you're going to see, i.e. this side, is facing up. So if you're, for instance, using a pattern paper or pattern card, you need to be aware of that. Now, uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using red tape, which is good if you want to uh, do something quick or if you're making a lot of them. Uh, you can use um, a, a high tack glue if you want to, but it can be a bit messy, I must admit. I've tried to do it before. So what you need to do is on the front of the first of one of them, you need to put some red tape like I've done there. And then what we're going to do is, you see where the gap is there. What we're going to do is we're going to stick the other one on front in between the gap like that. And so you'll see it'll be quite thick and full. So using the pokey tool on the back of the uh, quilling tool, you just peel that off, pick up your thing, and what you need to do is, and this can get a bit awkward, you, you match up in the gap there. But once you've mapped there, once you've matched it up, it is then quite easy to stick the rest down like that. So that's what you get. Okay. So put that to the side, to the side for one minute. Now these are the stamens, and to save time, I've actually um, put some red tape on there. But if you see, there's like a piece that comes out at the end. Just put the red tape up to that because that side there and that piece there is where you're going to actually slide in the quilling tool. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, again, is take off the red tape. And again, I'll say you can use high tack glue if you wish. And then you need to slide in as best you can. And sometimes this can be awkward to do. There, done it. Oh, finger stuck on that. So as you can see, I've slid that in there. Then all you need to do is you then need to begin to turn it and put a bit of pressure. What I tend to do is to start it off as I push down using my finger there and it just push and push. And as you turn, obviously the stamen gets thicker and fuller and it becomes a lot easier to handle. So there we go. So, oops. So there, there we go. So that's what you should have and that's what it should like, look like on the bottom, if you can see that. Okay, now you go back to your petals and what we need to do then is we need to put, again, red tape all along 
the bottom of the front again. Cut that off. Right, so we don't need that anymore. So get your pointy tool and again just take off the top of the red tape. Right, what you need to do now is you see there where the end of the stamen is, you need to get your petals and you need to line it up. So that's your starting point. And again, do exactly as before. Just turn it and turn it and apply some pressure to stick it. Now, as it gets bigger, it can get a bit awkward with the, um, to use the quilling tool. So what I suggest is put it off. It's, it's got to a certain size and so it's easier to handle and it's easier just to just keep turning it around, applying a bit of pressure just to get the tape to stick. That's the upside down. You can see what I'm doing. doesn't matter if you do miss a line on the bottom because it won't actually notice it once we've done the flower. So there we go. So that's what you should have. Now one tip I will give you is see this bit at the end. I do find even using red tape, this sometimes begins to pull away. So what I recommend is if you get a, a drop of high tack glue and just glue that then you shouldn't have a problem. So that's what you're left with. So if you then put it down, this is where the magic starts. What you need to do is find the middle, put your finger in the middle and then just pull it all back like that. And there you can see you've got the shape of your daisy. And then just put your finger in the middle and just do exactly the same. There. And there we go. Voila! You have one daisy. Now, as I said, when I first started doing this, um, I could find nowhere that would actually show me how to do it. And I made a real um, mistakes on the first few I made. But once you get used to using that quilling tool, it's, uh, it becomes quite easy. So I hope you found that educational and I hope it helps you if you decide that you want to go down the path. It's great fun making flowers and I do enjoy using that program to do it. I will make some more videos and show you how to make other flowers in the not too distant future. But I'd appreciate any comments you've got. And if you like what you see, please like my channel and uh, please um, put your comments below. Thank you very much. Bye bye.